Excedra here bringing you a video on how to install the Twitch Curse client, install the mod pack, change the mod pack version, and back up your save fully. So to install the Twitch Curse client, I'm not going to put a link in. I'm going to suggest that you always go to Google and search for the Twitch Curse client. And the reason I say that is by now the name might have changed to the Twitch Mega Client or the Twitch Super Client or whatever other name. As before, it was only the Curse Client. So by doing a search for the name of the client that you want, you'll find it easily. You click on it and it's going to bring you to the download page. You select to download the Twitch Desktop app. And here you get to choose Mac, iOS, Android, or by default, you can download the Windows version. And I've already downloaded this, so you see that in my download folder, it's trying to create a version one. So now let's assume that you finished the download and that you double clicked on the downloaded file and installed it. The next step is to launch the, uh, the launcher. So once it's launched, it's going to ask you for your credential and your connection and to set up your Minecraft uh, account so that you can start Minecraft game. And then in this Minecraft icon right here, you're going to be able to browse the mod pack. So browse all mod packs, browse FTB mod packs or create custom profile. Let's look at browse all mod pack. When you come here, you can search by category, sci-fi, tech, small, uh, quests, or you can just search for the one that you want. And our, for us, it's Forever Stranded. So you search for Forever Stranded, and once you've found it, you click on it, and from there, you can click on the Install button. This takes a long while, and I've already installed it twice. So I have one here and one here. If I go into this one, you see that it's called Forever Stranded 1 because it's an extra profile. So now I'm going to tell you how to play with your version number. In this case, we're in version 1.8. 8.9.1, which is the most recent version. But let's assume that for whatever reason, you know this to have been a broken version and you want to roll back to a version that wasn't broken. You click on version and you can, from the list here, see the last couple of release. So let's roll back to the oldest version there is, 1.8.6.5. So you select it and you say continue. You could say update to a new profile, but in our case, we want to use this copy. So let's just say continue. So this actually starts the installation process, downloads everything, and this doesn't break your save. It keeps your save uh, intact in the save folder. So we're just going to uh, fast forward through the installation of the old version, and I'll be And we're back. So it finally installed and downgraded to 1.8.6.5. And now if we go to version, you can see still the latest version, but in the dropdown, you see that the current one is 1.8.6.5. So now let's play with this old version and start it now. It launches the Minecraft launcher, you hit play again, and it's going to start the mod pack. This is a pretty heavy one and it's going to take a while to load. So let's just wait for the screen to appear and you can see step one of seven, it's constructing the mods and it's going to load everything. Let's run, ha uh, have it run true and I'll be back once it's finished. And we're back. So now we can start a new world in this old version. So let's create just a new world. And whew, I completely forgot how loud the music would be when starting Minecraft. I haven't had to start a new instance in a long while. So let's just wait for this a moment. And this is our new world. So we can start playing Forever Stranded. And I'm just going to play a little bit to show you something. I'm going to go outside right now, and I'm going to show you my journey map. Close, and let's make the window bigger. OK, 
Okay, so you can see in the journey map that we have a very small circle. I don't really care about surviving or dying or anything like that, so I'm just going to run as far out as I can here, like so, and then we're going to come right back. And we're going to end the music because this is going to drive me nuts. Music and sound, music off. Perfect. So let's continue and let's go to this uh, temple back there. The reason we're doing that is the part of the backup that you're interested about is having everything. And I've learned the hard way during my series of Forever Stranded that you can lose some very important information if you don't know where to save everything. So now if I look at my journey map, I have all of this. What I'm going to do is something that I never do. I'm going to put a save point right there so that I can go like this and do teleport. And I'm in the ground and I'm going to die. <laughs> so I'm going to hit respawn. And I don't really care that I died because I just wanted to show you something quickly. So now I'm back at the ship. And this is my death location. I'm going to look at journey map again. And you can see my journey map. So now I'm going to save and quit the title. And we're going to talk about the backup. And we're going to hit quit game. And I'm going to show you what I mean. To find your backup, it's very simple. You go to the settings right here. And in the settings, you go to Minecraft. And in Minecraft, you see that it says Minecraft install location. See user, my short username, document, curse, Minecraft. So if I select all of that and hit control copy or right click copy, and then I open a Windows Explorer and paste this right there, like so, and hit enter, it brings me to the curse Minecraft install. And then I go into instances, and in instances, you can see my Forever Stranded first instance and my Forever Stranded option one, which is the one we just played with. If I double click on that, you get all of the folders for the mod pack. But there's one here called saves. That's where you want to go. And you can see my new world. So to save this, it's very simple. You right click on it and you use, uh, you can use multiple options. You can say send to compress zip folder from this, or you could just copy it somewhere else, or I prefer using 7-zip, so I'm just going to use 7-zip and zip it quickly. So this is your backup of New World. I'm going to reduce this window, and I'm going to move this on my desktop right here. And then I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to go into the folder called Journey Map. And in the Journey Map folder, this is what shows your map. I'm going to go on data, SP, and there's a new world folder here. So I'm also going to zip this new world folder. But this time, I don't want to overwrite my other file, so I'm going to rename it and call it new world journey map. And this is the second part that you need to back up. If you don't back up this part also, you're not going to have your map. So let's go back to the root folder, and I want to show you one last thing. Whenever you're playing the mod pack, at some point you see a message pop up and saying Aroma Backup is taking a backup. This backups folder is where it's creating them. And it creates a folder per world, so new world. And already I have a backup zip, which is a backup of my whole playthrough. So if something bad ever happened to you and you end up losing a piece of equipment, throwing it in the lava or something like that, and you really don't want to have to recraft everything, or it was your last life and you decided to just cheat it a little bit, well, you can always have a backup from there. But think about this. This backup was taken today at 11.45. If I lost my item at 11.44, I couldn't be able to get it back. So you have to make sure that you can get back to a point where you have what you wanted, but you might always lose a little bit of progress, but it doesn't really matter for you. So now that I've shown you this, I don't want to go through the whole process of deleting the profile and reinstalling it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my forever stranded first uh, profile and I'm going to go into save. 
And you can see here my Artcore Let's Play that I play privately, my Let's Play Artcore YouTube for my series, and my Test World where I try things out in Creative. I'm going to bring the New World Zip here. I'm going to copy it here, and I'm going to extract it here. That's how easy this is. And I don't want to craft a second New World folder, so let's just extract this here. And we'll wait for the extract to complete. And it's completed. And now you can get rid of the zip. I already have a copy still on the desktop and it doesn't really matter, so I'll delete it. So now there's a new world right here. If I go back in Minecraft and I go to my other profile, um, no, not this one. The most recent one open is always the first one on the left. So this is my other one on version 1.8.9.1 and I hit play. I'm going to start the second profile, the one that didn't have my save that I transferred. So now again, this is going to take a while to launch. So I'll just be fast forwarding through this and I'll be back right after the program restarts. And we're back. So in this version, if I go now in single player, you can see all of my world, including the new world that I just copied over from the other profile. So let's start that one up. And so in between the version, a lot of things got removed. So that's why this is showing a missing block because the map was generated in an old version. And since then, all of these things have been taken out of the mod pack, but don't worry about that, just hit yes. The only reason you might have to worry about that if, is if you add any of these crafted and in your inventory, they'd be gone. So let's just hit yes and get in. And usually it's not that many because there's small incremental change in between the version, but we move like four or five version ahead. And you can see that in my other playthrough, I'm back here and everything's good. But not everything's good, because if I hit the journey map, I can't see my temple anymore. There's no temple, because we didn't copy over journey map. So let's save and quit. Let's not close the window, because I don't want to wait five minutes for it to restart. And now let's go into the journey map folder in data, SP, and... See, there's a new world folder because once it found that there was none, it created it. We'll delete this one and I'll bring over this zip over here and I'll say seven. Extract here and I'll put the new world folder and I'll just delete that since I still have it on my desktop. And now if I go back to single player new world and open it, let's just wait for it to open. And the moment it's open, let's hit G. Uh, for journey map and you can see that I have my old journey map because now it's uh, oh, it's set to follow that's why I can't move it down cancel so now I have a full complete backup of everything that's why you always want to take two things in backup you want your world and you want your journey map because during my series I lost everything and I had my backup so I was able to continue the series but it, I didn't have my journey map, so I had to rediscover the whole map. So that's what I wanted to show you on how to take backup of a mod pack. If we quickly go back to Twitch Curse, I just want to show an extra thing. In here in the settings, if you go back to Minecraft, you can see you have many options that you can do. You can set the preferred release that you want official release, beta or alpha, I said leave it to beta because I want to have access to packs earlier than their actual final release. If you don't want to deal with any bug or any pack that have a lot of movement, you can choose release to have only the most recent version. And if you don't mind playing with really broken on unstable stuff, you can select alpha. Then the launcher settings, that's what we saw in between the cursed launcher and the actual Minecraft is you can say 
once I click start, close the launcher or keep it open or hide the launcher and reopen it when the game closed. I don't really need to keep the launcher and I prefer relaunching every time, so I close the launcher. Then you can choose native launcher or jar launcher. I've always used the native launcher and I don't know what the jar launcher is. Then for Java, I'm set to always use the latest version. And then you can decide to set to use the full resolution of your desktop or in a size when you open the window, which is what I've done. And then the Java setting. This is for the RAM. It's to how much RAM you want to allocate. And you can see right now that you can set it down to two. Anywhere between two and six is the recommended setting. And I think that when you first start it, it's at four. I place it to the maximum because this is a beast of a computer and I have 32 uh, megabyte of RAM. So I don't really mind, uh, gigabyte, sorry, of RAM. So I don't really mind using 12. <coughs> and the rest, I really don't know. <coughs> what it's for so you don't need to do anything on it but that's about everything you need to know for uh, loading a mob pack and which version and if I go back this profile this old one number uh, with parentheses one that I don't want anymore you can always come into it click on the three dot and say delete profile and confirm it deletes absolutely everything so I, if I didn't have my new world back up here I would have lost everything. But sometime you might be running out of space and it might be a good thing to delete some of the old items that you have if you're not playing them anymore. And this is getting you a preview of everything that I've played recently. So that's it for today's video. Thank you and have a good night.